I could ask you to join with me, ladies and gentlemen, and, uh, and thought... There are over 500 spiritualist churches in Britain, and spiritualism is now a recognised religion. We ask, Heavenly Father, that you will allow their loved ones to come forward, teaching them that there is no death. Its followers believe in an afterlife and that mediums can contact the dead. OK, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> OK. Right, I have a, a gentleman here, and all I know is he... Uh -huh, he passed his spirit well through falling. God, there's such a lot of water around me as well. A lot of water. And it feels as if I could have fallen into this water. This is the feeling. Am I up the back over here? Can you understand that, my dear? Would that make sense to you? But it's a gentleman. I'm shaving all my hair off here. Yes, exactly. Would it, would, is that something he would have done? Just shaved all his hair off like that because it's just the sense of doing that? All right. Why is that? OK. I'll tell her. Sort the family out. Would you sort the family out? And I've that's, tried. <laughs> OK. That's his message to you. Please sort the family out. Hold on a wee second here. I want to, he's talking about teaching. I'm a teacher. Good. There you go. Thank you. Who's got the candles? I'm seeing can... <coughs> Me all the time. Right. Just see all the candles being lit there. And again, very happy in the spirit world. And he's just popping in to say, hi, I'm still around. OK? Still around. Now, I've got a hat on my head now. Or a bonnet. Okay, like a cap. The feeling is it's just like a vibration. It's the only way I can describe it. Something vibrating around me which tells me, yes, somebody's here. And it's almost like one of the last things he was able to really make. It's at that point I will ask them to let me be aware of them. And I may be aware of how they died. God, I'm smoking now. I'm getting the sense of somebody taking a draw. Of, you know, who smoked the old woodbine or capstan, the real strong ones? My dad. Cos I just got a right whiff of a cigarette here. I then may be aware again of, of, of what they look like. You know, or immediately they may just say, I'm so-and-so, I'm here. Tell them I'm here. I get the sense of him doing this with his fingers. He's, he's fiddling about with things. There must be a George or a Geordie, cos I've just mentioned that. As I heard George, somebody said, Geordie. OK? Take his love and know that he's still alive, he's still around you. I'll say God bless you. Know the names. <laughs> you know, I could take them all. Was there any way he could have known any of that information about you? No, I've never ever seen him before, so... When it came to the part, does anyone know anyone that fell into water from a, from a, from a cliff? Well, basically, that for me was, that's, that is Rory, and no one that I know or anybody that I would know would ever know that about me because he's, he was my son's best friend. So, to me, this is... I am not a sceptic anymore. Gordon Smith is a medium in demand. He now travels to London regularly to do private sittings. His home from home in the capital is the historic spiritual mission in Notting Hill. Actually coming up to stay in the church, it was just like coming home. So many of the great mediums have worked here. Everybody who was anybody within spiritualism, mediums that I've read about, it's actually considered a great honour to be invited here to work. Gordon doesn't charge for sittings, but there's a long waiting list. Ros Katanak, who runs the church, is also the keeper of Gordon's diary. He's an excellent medium. He's an honest medium with great integrity, which to me is almost as important as the quality of the mediumship. Well, the two go together, or should, should. As long as he doesn't get spoilt, and I don't think he will get spoilt, and I know he's going to get a few very short kicks from spirit, should he try it, but he won't. He won't. I'm absolutely certain about that. And uh, we are very blessed to have him. Very. Um, you know. Do you get a lot of people then, Russ, will you get for sittings with Gordon? Oh, yes. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yes, I do indeed. Um, and may, once they know that he's going to be around, yes. And you just have to use your intelligence or what little you've got to uh, sort out the 
week from the chaff. And that's really what it amounts to. I must have a sitting. I do need a sitting. Then you realise that someone's in trouble. Colin and Pat Marr lost their son a year ago. His name was uh, Colin John Marr. Um, he was going home one night, walking across the zebra crossing. A car apparently ran into him, just carried on. So they never found the person? No. His? no. No. He was a school teacher, well loved by his pupils. He ran the um, first year football team at the school. He came footballer himself. Very, very popular, knew absolutely everybody, very enthusiastic and just so full of life for her, it, it to have been taken the way it was. In the greater scheme of things, I'm still a Catholic and still believe in Catholicism, but to us, our son, who we really loved, has been taken away from us. If it's God's will, then at the moment, I'm not very friendly with God. Can I just take your hand? Yeah. Sometimes Gordon says he knows nothing about Colin and Pat, not even their names. To do this just to make a, a link. All right. Ah, oh, yeah. Now, there's a young man and an older woman, OK? So it's like a boy and his grandmother. Yes. Right. Does the name of John Mayer or John Marr make some, mean something to you? Um, that was the second name. All right. John was the second name. All and right. Mara is their surname. Oh, well, if that makes sense, yeah, I'd heard it as John Meir or John Meyer. Or Mar. Some, Mar. Right, yeah. okay. Uh, all right, then, come on. Hi, uh -huh, I'll tell her. There's a certain kind of rose or a certain kind of flower That's that you right. give to him. Yes. Yeah. And he says, I know about it, I still get them. He and does. there's one that you put beside a picture as well. That's right. And he says, I'm very aware of that. He's so much around you. And have they indeed? Oh, is it a Hornsley church or a Horns... Hornsley. Horns... Is it yeah. a church? Because yeah. I'd heard it is Hornsey Church. Yeah. Or, or Hornsey yeah, no, Church. My, my parents used to live in Hornsey. It's a place called Hornsey. All oh, right. Such a lot of family members around you. Yes. OK? As I mentioned, mother, I've also got to say grandmother. My God, mm. she was a character. This mm. woman could have... I, I don't know what I want to say about her, but I just know you did not mess with this woman. Mm. She was like the leader of the, the yeah. family. Yeah. And she's coming forward at the moment to say that, yes, you're doing the right thing. And she's talking about your family that are still around you. Somebody wanted to stop smoking just the other day, but they thought, oh, I'll try it, but I wouldn't bother. Does that make sense? <laughs> Very much so, well, yeah. I've just given up as we came into this year and it's oh, killing right. me. So <laughs> if, if you've done it, good. If you've no... I have uh, not oh, Well, you'll do it at some point, don't worry about it. But again, it's just their way of saying they know your thoughts or they yeah. know your thinking. And, and I have a football and he's, he's bouncing the ball here, yeah, he's, he's yeah. holding the ball. In fact, he must have just loved anything to do with yeah. sport and yeah. football and things like that. He's a but I, footballer. Now, I know you have an Irish accent, but there's yeah. somebody here shouting Paddy, OK? Mm -hmm. Paddy, Paddy, Paddy. There's a guy in the spirit world, Paddy. Yeah. But I've also got to talk about Pat or Patricia as well. So there's Pat as a man and Pat as a woman, mm -hmm. OK? Yeah. Yeah. And I've got to mention both of them here. And there's a real shindig going on over on the other side. There's such a lot of family, I feel. And what they're trying to say to you is, we have your son here. He's OK. He's OK. You've sent out these thoughts. You've been asking so much. What, what are you doing? OK. Bless you. Uh, really? Right. The 15th of May, I've got to say to you, is something, I don't know what it means, yeah, but the 15th of May date. is an important date. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. What are you writing? It's as if he's writing something up. But it's a, I'm on a computer. Yes. Okay. And it, it was typing away here. It's, it's the stuff of his that is still left. His writings, yeah. his stuff oh, yes. that he's yeah. put together. Yeah. There's an essay or there's something yeah. that's actually educational, what he's been studying or what he's been doing. What? A... I don't know if it's Colin or... Is a name like that? Colin, Colin? was his name. Sorry? Colin was his name. Oh, was that his name? Yeah. Colin. I just heard it whispered, sorry. And thanks for the candles, Mum. Thank you very much, as you said, for the candles, Mum. It means a lot. It's his way of trying to let you know that he's still he's alive. Still here. Yes. He's still alive. Oh, yeah, it's very enlightening, yeah, yeah. It's wonderful, because we know now he is at peace. He's yeah, with his grandmother. Yeah, it does give comfort, I must admit. And know. his name, everything, he's 
he's got everything spot on. His writing, he was a school teacher. There's a lot of writings, his dissertation. He was in the process of writing a book. All those things, there's nothing he didn't get. He couldn't have known no. the, the things he did know. So, so. I mean, he even got his full name right. Yeah. You know, which is amazing, you know, considering they don't know who you are and never met you before. And... May the 15th is very significant. That was the day his grandmother died, five days before her birthday. And what he said about the shrine, lots of people say to me there's too many candles and too many flowers and at his headstone. And he said, thanks for the candles, Mum. So I know I'm doing the right thing now. It's not a shrine, it's somewhere I can go and find peace with him. So, it's lovely. <laughs>